talking to this guest of mine that, that this this somebody I really 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 respect. One of the hardest working women in the entertainment industry in Ghana. She's I, I, I've just heard that she's also now chairman of the board of NAFTA or chairwoman. We'll find out. But in the meantime, put your hands together. Show some love for Julius Asante. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. Wow. I saw your hair ties. I've, I've been trolling <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Yo, your <laughs> hair. <laughs> that, do, do you change like every week or? Um, well, I mean, depending on how <laughs> I get up, which side of the bed I get up yeah. daily. Daily? Yes. Daily? Daily. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need an outlet for my energy, you yeah. know, my creativity. So my, hair, is, the, my yeah. hair is a victim <laughs> of, of that, my of yeah. that outlet. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Are you angry? Then as I, you're not chairman of the NAFTI board or chairwoman? Yes, is chairwoman, it? yeah, of the board of NAFTI. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm honored. I'm honored. Um, it's a challenging, mm. uh, you know, position because uh, just because there's so much opportunity, and so my my uh, concern is to make sure that the school gets to the point where we can actually begin to, you know, mm. exhibit the opportunity, play the role that we are supposed to play mm. in sector, mm. um, and just grow as we should grow. I mean, mm -hmm. um, the intent of the, the institute, I think, hasn't been achieved fully. Yeah. So there's a yeah. big room for, 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 you know, growing, so to speak. And I'm just happy that at this time, I've gotten the opportunity and honor to, to be there. Mm -hmm. And I'm also mm -hmm. sitting there at a time when the sector itself is going through quite a bit of transformation. Yep, and yep, so yep, to be yep. able to see that transformation in some cases, facilitate that transformation um, and witness it, mm, I think mm, it's, it's phenomenal. And mm. I'm very excited being an old student too. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And um, what was it? Silver Rain. Yes. Silver Rain. Silver Rain was quite, quite an accomplishment. Well, it did very well. Still doing very well. Now we are in 62 countries on Amazon, I must say. I don't know if any Ghanaian film has been able to achieve that. I would even argue for African films, but 62, it's an, uh, 62 African countries on Amazon Prime. Wow. So that is great. We are hoping to get on iTunes. Mm. iTunes has been tough. I mean, mm. these are some of the reasons why it's challenging for filmmakers this mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. to get access to distribution because, you know, we work with skill sets that are yeah. not very conversant with international requirements and demands and you have to meet be able those. to meet yeah. those. So it's quite challenging. Mm. You know, I remember mm. at a point my distributor in, in uh, you know, some kind of dismay said, who do you work with? <laughs> <laughs> who do you work with? Yeah. Yeah, exactly because you know and i understood her frustration because it sounded like something simple that anyone you know editor or whatever should know but we were you know it was just so much of a back and forth um and so these are some of the gaps that we need to fill in in industry mm -hmm. these are some of the experiences mm -hmm. really that led me to the black star international film festival if there's one thing that silver rain i think brought to me the table to the country is black star international film festival because really? so, yeah. so black says came out of silver came rain? out of silver rain. came out of my experience with silver rain so i'm distributing silver rain i mean obviously i finished this film that has been nominated best film in africa and i'm trying to distribute it and there's so many uh, barriers everywhere I pass and then I'm seeing the gaps obviously I'm jumping over those barriers but then I'm thinking okay if my countrymen are you know I suppose are supposed to go through this we would never get anywhere and besides I'm going to all these festivals and having all these conversations and all of these things are happening and all these countries are benefiting I mean I was at Berlinale I go to Sundance and all, and all these countries are benefiting so much and I'm thinking but why am I flying to countries and mm. countries not flying to me hang on 
we've got to change something in wow. this picture. So that was the um, basic inspiration. And that was the basic inspiration. That people should fly to Ghana to yes, express a Yes, yes, yeah, because we are trying to establish Ghana as the festival destination, at least one of the top five festival destinations on the continent, and also as a holiday destination. So we are trying to achieve two things. So whilst we are achieving all of this, we are also trying to let Ghana as a whole benefit because mm. when people come into mm. Ghana or mm. you request that people come into Ghana, they have to go with an experience and Ghana is very lacking in content, mm. in creative mm. content. Mm. And we find that um, those who should do something kind of focus on the infrastructure. Maybe not that, maybe not out of unwillingness, mm. but sometimes there's also a knowledge gap yeah. and appreciation yeah. of what, you know, what should be priorities and what steps to take first. And so for me, immediately I'm thinking, okay, do, do, you know, say, 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 do, do, do. Yeah. So how do we begin yeah. to demonstrate that, listen, if we can say to people that if you come to Ghana, at least within a specified period, you can have activities to do because when people go on holidays or even come to do business, they want there, an experience. There's something, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they go away, they would never, we cannot compete with Singapore in infrastructure. So someone, I don't see someone coming to Ghana and going back and saying, oh my God, I'm so <laughs> blown away by the roads, I'm so blown away by the hotel. Yeah. What they are likely to say though, is that my goodness, the experience was amazing. I experienced their culture, I experienced the people, I experienced the food, I experienced, you know, that's what the person will go with and that's what will bring that person back. Mm. Potentially, mm. that's what will bring How, that person back yeah. to even invest. Yeah. How successful has the Black Star... Uh, International... It, yeah, no, festival. in terms of attracting uh, people to Ghana. Well, in our very first year alone, we had almost 100 people come. You know, filmmakers on the side, people yeah. who also just said I wanted to come. This year, um, we are showing films from 19 countries, mm. 32 films from 19 countries. Many of those filmmakers are coming. Okay. From Nigeria alone, we have almost 50 people coming. Wow. From Nigeria wow. alone. Wow. And we cannot capture everyone that comes to mm -hmm. the festival, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because people come and they do other things. We capture those that we can. But I can say here that there's someone coming. At least we have about... 40 to 50 percent of african countries mm, represented mm, coming mm. this year that's not talking about europe and you yeah. know the united yeah. states and all of those how, how 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 tough has this been man it's not easy to to think mm. about i'm going to start a film international film festival in ghana <laughs> and we were told ghana wasn't ready for a film festival well, that's what the they way. said yeah yeah and it's who been, said that everyone said that to me Everyone said that to me, and we've had incredible challenges. Let me just even start with the resource challenges. I mean, uh, funding has been really challenging. Corporate uh, Ghana is not ready mm, for... Mm. They don't even understand, understand what a festival the festival is. And yeah. the corporate would think, oh, let me buy adverts on TV and radio, and that's it. They don't appreciate. In other countries, people recognize the value of this, and you have big corporates behind it. Also, government support has been you know interesting mm. now we are getting a lot more support this year the president is coming uh the first lady also stepped up as a special she was there the last year she was she yeah, was there yeah. both the first and the second lady okay. and and this year she actually first lady actually came on as a special friend to the festival mm. and that's been very helpful mm. i mean mm. obviously she's busy with so many things going on but mm. she also recognizes there's an alignment between what film can do for even her core courses so she's very passionate about women issues and and all of those things women empowerment illiteracy all of those things and film is such a powerful tool for informing educating communicating and just carrying a message and as a festival even this year our theme is film as a tool for national development mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. how can we as filmmakers use films even going back to silver rain that was really one of the main causes of um, you know main reasons mm. why silver rain was so appreciated because it was such a social yeah. story it was such an authentic african yeah, story and yeah. it had such a great entertainment yeah. value yeah. as yeah. well yeah. so the support has been good we are looking for more but yeah so and then uh, the human skill sets too. If I talk, I always talk about my team because my team is overstretched and doing amazing things. Young people, 
uh, from Ghana, from all over the world. We have volunteers. I mean, our festival producer is a volunteer. She's from UK. Um, head of communications and PR is Russian, who was living in Spain. I mean, we, you know, we've gotten volunteers from Australia, from Austria, from Germany, um, from For US. the festival? Yeah. Head of submissions this year is from the US interesting so we've got volunteers some volunteers are flying in just for the festival mm. uh so we are looking for places for them to be so if someone is watching this and they want to support us in any way we really encourage that mm. and mm. welcome that mm. Mm. so this just begins in a few ah this begins tomorrow Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess in a very few, very, very few. I guess tomorrow. It begins tomorrow. Tomorrow is the opening uh, ceremony. I'm excited because we have some great films for our opening film. In fact, this year we are doing something very different. I'm sad to say. Let me just say that we initially announced um, a Ghanaian film as our opening film. Mm. Uh, now, I'm not going to mention corruption? the name. No, 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 corruption is part of uh, okay. film as a tool for national. Uh, development under that uh, category, non-competitive gas okay. category. But uh, there was this film, I just not mentioned the name because I don't want to put the film in any situation, but it didn't go very well. I can also put that to the lack of understanding of Ghanaian filmmakers. Oh, Maybe really? it will take us a while to Who does the nomination? Who selects? We have a jury. We have a jury. Okay. Um, we have a jury. But usually the opening and closing film is so big that we actually go out and quote unquote solicit in some instances the approach us because you know you're maybe going for an Oscar nominated film or whatever so you need that kind of mm. gravita so to speak. So you're you're thinking of a Ghanaian film opening the whole thing? We were thinking of a Ghanaian film. We actually announced a Ghanaian film really? but the Ghanaian filmmaker didn't appreciate the opportunity so to speak. So unfortunately we've moved on. Uh, and we are reintroducing a double whammy. We are doing two back-to-back -back opening this year. One is actually yet to be released. So the world premiere, uh, the world, well, Africa premiere, because it will be released just two days before us, is us. So we are very excited. Black wow. Man, uh, by, it's, the film is called Black Man by um, Steve, uh, what's his name? Uh, Spike Lee. You know, there's this film, the Spike, Lee? Got, Spike Lee film that is all over the place, black man that people are really excited about. So and it's happening tomorrow. We are the African premiere <laughs> for Black Man. Just so long. Yeah, so, uh, uh, two films, two films back to back. So there's uh, Black Man, and then there's Yadi. Yadi is by Idris Elba, you know, um, who wanted to come, but his schedule didn't allow it. Uh, so, and Yadi also premiered at Sundance and has gotten really great reviews. And so for us to be showing those back-to-back, we'll also be showing Those, are heavyweights. Yeah, those heavyweights. are heavyweights. Those yeah. are heavyweights. Yeah, we're also showing Detroit, by the way, uh, as a special screening. So it's exciting. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And Silver Rain. So uh, Detroit and Silver Rain this year, because they're both screened already in the world silver rain came out a few years ago but because of the theme for this year we wanted films we wanted a special screening of films that really show that mm. you can achieve mm. entertainment as well as social value mm. that pushes mm. the conversation mm. so these two films are under special screening but i must say that i'm also so excited um that the five films that fall under film as a tool for national development which is non-competitive are primarily all ghanaian okay so we have four ghanaian films and then we have and one are, are, um i i can i can uh, let me see right now um okay. under the ghanaian category uh, sorry film as a tool for national development we have ghana for you which is a ghanaian belgium uh production hmm. we have vagabonds which is ghanaian we have survivors which is sierra leonean something about the ebola crisis you really want to see this we have corruption which hasn't yet come out by um pascal, pascal Arthur. Yeah. and then we have both saved also uh so i'm very proud of the ghanaians that have made it through because the competition was high you can imagine uh so i'm really excited um and then we have six categories in competition so we have um feature best feature best documentary best animation best short best african rising best women in film and all of these competitive category have you know a number of films the minimum is I, we have usually four averagely we have four three kind of thing they are mm. in competition for mm. the yasantua award the yasantua looks at awarding filmmakers that use your craft to promote um 
conversations like this and the SDGs. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and I noticed the Black Star Film Festival. I mean, International the, Film Festival. So, yeah. Mm. You, you have a special, when it comes to tools. Yeah. Because I, I noticed you've done some seminars on women in yeah. film. Yeah. Focusing on the role of women. Yeah. Is that the specific agenda to mm. change mindset, educate specific issues? Well, Film, as a, film itself is such an important tool yeah. for having social conversations. Yeah. Yeah. And so we are trying to retrade that more and more and use that too. Uh, for instance, we have these symposiums that we do. Mm -hmm. So when you, what you're talking about mm -hmm. is actually mm -hmm. the symposiums. And this year, it kind of where we, we kind of dealt with little, little subjects towards the big subject. We will continue this for the next three years. Um, so this year, we started with the focus on women. We talked about uh, film as a tool for, mm -hmm. for, for development for women. And then we also talked about, spoke about stereotypes of women in film. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that can affect everyone. You know, for instance, I, I said this on another interview. When I watch a lot of African films, I don't see myself. But yet, I'm, I consider myself a modern Ghanaian woman, a modern African woman. I, we expect that films will begin to not only show us who we are, but also show us what we can aspire to. Because film has, is such a powerful tool for imprinting and impacting the minds beyond the pocket. I can't, even when I start with a pocket, it's also a whole different thing. And this kind of aligns with my position at NAFTI as well. And I'm very fortunate that I'm occupying that unique position because we fail as a people to recognize and appreciate the impact of the images that we show mm, to our children mm, and mm, to our mm, people. Mm. And so if I'm always watching a film in which I'm seeing myself as a very angry black woman, which... Uh, or someone, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, wicked stepmother, yeah, whatever yeah, you want to yeah, call it, yeah. then e that eventually becomes my reality. Mm -hmm, and so the reality mm -hmm. of young people now where they think everything is a shortcut and you, you don't have to work hard, is maybe we can trace it to the images mm. we've been seeing on what our television. Is, is, is the, 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 are these images do mm. reflecting what is actually in society that we need to change or... Is it just like a perception that because that's the like you you just said that you don't see yourself mm -hmm. maybe mm. because your kind mm -hmm. is not really seen that much well my kind is probably not celebrated that much okay because my kind probably don't sell the papers as much mm. or maybe the tv station thinks that if they show my kind people mm -hmm. will not sit and people will not okay. money and they need to sell and advertisers yeah. need to sell there's yeah. so many things in this mix which is why we think government intervention is important because if you only look at the economics of it mm. then we will put our priorities wrong but even by the, 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 what we have here, film as a tool for national development, where we have all these films, great films, I must say, where I myself has done a film that has traveled so well, that was socially conscious, mm -hmm. we are proving that you can still be socially conscious yeah. and still make money. Yeah. You and, know? And, and entertain and as well. And entertain. Yeah. It's very entertaining. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. you know, so there's no reason why we can't close that gap. But maybe it's a chicken and egg situation. But I must say also that every country that has done really well in the sector has had some government intervention. Mm. And mm. we have had, we haven't realistically had a policy that has been changed in so many years. Yeah. We don't have frameworks. We don't have any of those things. We don't have data. We don't have the basic prerequisites yeah. of anything. Yeah. And there was a time you and I, you know, uh, in our time. When I say in our time, it looks interesting. But, you know, we've been around for a while. <laughs> but, you know, so people forgive me. In our time. <laughs> you know, in our time, there used to be co-productions. Yeah. There were so many co-productions. Yeah, yeah. And I could go to Ghana Films Corporation, meet another filmmaker, you know, have a conversation, get called. That's what we are trying to create with the Black Star mm, International mm, Film Festival, mm. create that foundation. But you could go there and co-productions were happening. Mm. And those things were bringing income, creating jobs, yeah. investment into the country. All of those things have dried up. Yeah. And we need government inter intervention to resuscitate that. Fantastic. Just signal me that my time is almost Your up. Your time is almost up. Uh, yeah. 
what what are, what are we to expect experience tomorrow man what is the opening that yes how about how what are you to experience in in the next seven days okay because a festival is made up of several events mm -hmm. over a number of days over a number of locations so over the next seven days from saturday mm -hmm. to saturday mm -hmm. you can watch films you can um you can come to a music concert you can come to the gala uh there'll be great panel sessions there'll be great workshops i mean some of the panel sessions there's music in film building plots characters and animation there is women in film contributions and challenges there's film as a tool for national development there's breaking barriers and untold stories the director of rafiki by the way is coming oh really rafiki i mean it's our closing film rafiki uh, got banned in kenya uh rafiki <laughs> premiered at Cannes. and the record is coming is by a woman she's coming i'm hoping oh, you will be the word. one who leads the conversation <laughs> i'm hoping you will be the one who leads the conversation on the 18th on the 18th, on the 18th um okay. because we will that's exciting. Like it's that's exciting. exciting it's exciting so for the next uh seven days every day we have all of these events if you go to our website black science international film festival.org or simply bsiff.org the information is there you can get tickets okay. some there are tickets some there are free events as well so whichever mm -hmm. And you can attend. You can buy your tickets there. You can see the schedule there. Everything is there. Oh, yeah. You can buy your beautiful basic t-shirt, your beautiful bag, whatever. Everything is awesome. Everything and is awesome. And you're looking at the website mm -hmm. right now. That's the address on the screen uh -huh, right now. Uh -huh. Please visit uh -huh. it. Please check it out. And mm -hmm. let's make this great. You've done so well. Thank you know? Because you. before, well, all we had was... Uh, in Africa was Festpaco. That was yeah. There was well, Festpaco. Yeah. There's the Deben Film Festival. Yeah. There's yeah. Afrif in Ni Nigeria. But we'll pass all of them. Yeah. <laughs> You know that Black Star represents yeah. Africa as a whole. Yeah. So yeah. I think that Ghanaians should grab this. We should all be part of this and push this. Let's together make this the festival of the continent. Yeah. Black Star International Film Festival. And that's it. You said it all, man. Let's make it the film festival of the continent because it's Black Star. Show some love. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. There. There. There and hey, forever. <laughs> <laughs> See you all, folks. We'll be right back.